What's going on guys? RC King here for another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another little upgrade for my Slash. It actually involves kind of a bit of an experiment, but it's the Traxxas rubber and aluminum rims wheels for the wheelie bar. The only thing I, 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 at the store I was like, oh, they're, I think they're the same size, so I'm like, okay, I'll buy them. They're only like 10 bucks, right? But then I got home and I had an epiphany. They're quite a bit bigger. The issue with that, with these, a bit bigger, it's the bumper. So we might have to be doing some cast, custom fab, maybe like cut up a piece of aluminum. Oops, that makes the tire hang lower, which I think I might be doing. In this video, we're going to see if it might work anyways. Yeah, guys, let's get wrenching and see if this will work. There's the goods. Okay, let's take this out. Scoop it out. Slip the foam out. Okay, there. There's the stuff. Okay. Now you got to see the stuff. Let's take the actual tires out. Damn, these things are thick. Just some nice made tires. Look how thick that is. I can say right now they're not gonna fit. Can I use the original hardware? Oops. Because if we can use the original hardware, that would be helpful. Question is, these new screws fit, or will we have to re-thread it? Oh, shit. They look like they fit. Yep, they fit. Oh, guys, I think it actually fits. Swap this screwdriver. I know the bearing's coming out. To set it in there a bit, so I don't have to hold it. Okay, Mr. Bear, can you go back into your hole? Not going in anymore, so I think we're gonna have to find another way to make this fit. Come out, you bugger. Okay, so yeah, I took it off. And since the way this mount works is it has this little nut in it, I think we could buy another nut. Okay, I'm just gonna get this. Well, it didn't really fit on there the nicely, and it doesn't really spin, but it looks cool. And that's the goal. <laughs> and right now, it doesn't rub on the thing. So we're going to just shove this back on the slash, see if it works, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we just installed it. Um, it rubs a tad bit. It's not, it's not too bad. I mean, could be worse. No. So I'm happy with this upgrade. Um, would I recommend buying it? And thinking it's just gonna go right on. No, not really, because it needed some budging and it rubs. So I might still be making an aluminum plate for it. Just like one that drops the wheel. Maybe half an inch. So yeah, I'm just gonna go do the other one real quick. And then after that, I'll show you how it looks with the body on. And yeah, so I'll see, I'll see you in a second. So yeah guys, I got them installed. Um, it was pretty easy. They actually spin. I thought it was rubbing, but turns out it's not. Um, this wheel doesn't spin as much. So yeah, this one doesn't spin as much. Um, I don't know why. Oh, it's spinning that time. Yeah, fidget spinner, bruh. Basically have two fidget spinners now. Better than any of yours. So yeah. You have a cast aluminum or aluminum and a rubber fish spinner? 
Probably not. What the fuck? What is wrong with this? Why isn't this shit focusing? So yeah, guys. Yeah. Um. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I think it looks pretty damn good. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on. Uploads every week. And yeah, guys. I should hopefully be doing a running video of this thing soon. Maybe pop some wheelies. And yeah, guys. See you in the next one. I'm out.